Hello everyone, John Evans here. Hey, Scott Wilk. Hey, and we want to welcome you to Community News on Small Town Network. Oh yeah, welcome, and uh, it is Monday morning, and it is Martin Luther King Day. Uh, so, happy Martin Luther King Day to everybody. Uh, we are going to talk about the weather and the crazy weather that we had coming up here in just a moment, uh, but wanted to talk a little bit about Martin Luther King Jr. Day, uh, since that is today and that is a holiday. I know some of you are probably working some of you are not, uh, but uh, a, a few information details about Martin Luther King Day. Uh, first of all, it is actually the celebration of his birthday. Uh, the official holiday is the birthday of Martin Luther King. His actual birthday was January 15th of 1929, uh, and it is celebrated on the third Monday of January's. Uh, also, he was the chief spokesman for nonviolent activism and civil rights movement. He was assassinated in 1968. Now, Martin Luther King Jr. Day uh, was first signed by Ronald Reagan uh, into law in 1983. And it was first observed actually three years later in 1986. Now, New Hampshire was actually the last state to actually honor the holiday. So the first actual nationwide celebration of Martin Luther King Jr. Day was in January of 2000. Now, there are only two other holidays that have figures that are named by them, and that is George Washington and Christopher Columbus. So that's some interesting information uh, about Martin Luther King Day. Uh, now, how about the weather? How did it fare towards you, uh, John? It wasn't that bad. We were worried all day uh, yesterday, and it looked like it was going to start, and it was trying to snow, trying to snow, and it just never really got there. Yeah, never... Uh, not much accumulation. Uh, I know the flakes were coming down uh, uh, pretty good uh, last night and uh, kind of all through the night. But luckily, we seemed to dodge uh, the worst of it. But I have some pictures I wanted to share uh, of the downtown area this morning. This is downtown Rockwood looking outside of the Wilk Production Studios. Uh, that's looking towards 27 there. And... Uh, uh, not too much snow just on the rooftops. This is a little patch of grass looking towards Greg Lefew's attorney office there. And as you see, just a little bit of dusting. Here's looking towards the Rockwood Event Center. Uh, again, not too much. Look at the front of our shop there. You can tell it's cold because the windows are still frozen up. Uh, and if you look at Rock, uh, at the uh, Roosevelt Mountain there, uh, you can still see it's a pretty sight. Uh, but it wasn't that pretty uh, just out to the west of us. As you can see here, this is some uh, pictures from Crossville on I-40. And uh, as you can see there, it was a mess. So uh, I think we uh, we fared pretty well. Uh, I think everybody's pretty glad that we, we fared pretty well. But uh, uh, Some of the kids would wish we had some snow to play in, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, we did pretty well. Uh, I'd like to encourage people as well. Uh, next time we have a weather event, please uh, share your photos with us, and we'll get those up as well. Yeah, please do. So, uh, but uh, again, glad that we kind of dodged that. Uh, I know it's still kind of snowing a little bit to the east of us. Uh, all of our friends there in Sevierville, uh, Pigeon Forge, and Gatlinburg, they're still getting it uh, as we speak. Um, so uh, kind of glad, though, that we made it through that Uh but now that we're through the weather event, uh, I'd like to kind of toss it over to my buddy John, who is going to tell you about your things to do. So take it there, Mr. John. Yeah, yeah we still got a calendar of things to do this week, even though we had started out in the week with bad weather. Hey, I, I do want to remind you all, please watch the end because we've got some special announcements for what we might do next month with some of our sponsors. We may have some giveaways. We may have uh, uh, some other contests going on. So uh, looking forward to that. And... As always, we're opening up with the open ride at the Expo Center. Now, uh, that's still $5 a rider, $5 a horse. You can contact Diane Cox. That's coxdm at runstate.edu and 865-882-4590. And uh, a new thing, this happens, I think, every Tuesday as well. They have a bluegrass jam session at the Bradbury Community Club. Their phone number, well, you can call Marie to get information about it. It's 865-458-3703. And I think that's kind of an open hoop format where you can just show up with your instrument, pay $2 to get in. You can pay $2 to get in just to listen as well. And they got some concessions. And it looks like a good fun. Uh, I think they've got a stage. Some of the guys will get up and play. So uh, a lot of entertainment on a Tuesday, though. Cool. That sounds like, sounds yeah. like a good time. That sounds like cool, it. Cool, yeah. 
And then we have, this sounds like it would be interesting as well. Uh, Ed Westcott is uh, doing a, a lecture on the origins of Oak Ridge and the building of the city. And that's been moved from the uh, uh, public library to the municipal building in, uh, in Oak Ridge. So please contact them if you're interested in that. That's on the 19th. And the 20th, uh, the 20th through the 23rd, we have the East Tennessee Fishing Show and Expo. That's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. You can get more information there at EastTNFishingShow.com. And on Friday the 21st, that is Friday the 21st, uh, it's Randy Hauser. He's at the, uh, uh, the Cotton Eye Joe's in Knoxville. Uh, $25 tickets in advance of the show, $30 a day of the show, parking $5.00. And I guess VIP parking is 10. I guess that's closer to the door. Yeah. And a cold night, it might be yeah, worth that yeah. $5. More sure. information at cottonijoe.com. And uh, we also have, this is kind of interesting. It's new. I haven't seen anything like this. It's Hike with a Ranger. And you can find more information at outdoornoxville.com, places and parks and regional. You can narrow it down, then they'll have information for you there. And I think you, uh, hike, uh, Ranger takes you out and hikes to the old wheat community and tells you all about the history of that. That might be another cold, cold, oh, yeah, uh, it might be cold, cold trip. Uh, bundle up to do that. Yeah, yeah. for real. That's the uh, dedicated hikers there. And uh, we were, as we were talking before, uh, is hiking with a ranger, not hiking with a stranger. Yeah. Just be careful with that. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to hike with strangers. Yeah. Just make sure it's a real forest ranger. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, also, we have a couple of farmers markers. We got one at Oak Ridge, and uh, you can find out more about that at GrowOakRidge.org. That's Saturday, and also Saturday we have uh, the the Knox Winters Farmers Market. You can find out uh, more information by calling them 865-805-8687 extension one, and learn about that. And the other one, if you think you're funny, there's a chance for you to prove it. You Why did you look at me when you said that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but if you think you are funny, you want a chance to prove it. You can go to Downtown Pizza in Harriman. And uh, you look that up on their website, and you go up. It's an open mic night. Uh, it starts at 7, ends at 10, and, and uh, at least go out and, well, some of them will be funny, I'm sure. And uh, you can go out just to listen, have a pizza. Yeah. And uh, I think the last thing we've got here is the Show Me Snakes, Show Me Reptiles show in Chattanooga down at the convention center. I talked to uh, Mr. Bliss, our uh, local snake guy. They're not going to make it this year to that one, but he says that they usually have a lot of really good stuff, so it might be interesting. If you're interested, interested in that sort of thing, go down there and have a look at it. Yeah, wow. That, uh, I'm not a big fan of the snakes, uh, but they're cool when they have them down here downtown. I, I'm happy. I'm cool with snakes as long as I know they're there. I don't like to be surprised by a snake. Yeah, I'm not really one to, like, as long as I'm not the one that has to hold it, you know. I they're mean, not that bad. Yeah, I don't mind it, but I just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big snake guy. <laughs> it, when I was younger, I almost stepped on a six foot rattlesnake when I was in Boy Scouts. And after that, like, that was the most terrifying thing. <laughs> ever. I, I, yeah, I'm pretty good with those snakes, but last time I saw one on the trail, I didn't think I could jump that high. Now, I'm not going to uh, lie. I'll take a snake over spiders any day because some spiders are sneaky. You can at least see a snake most of the time, but spiders I, I don't like. Uh, no but, uh, well, some awesome events. Uh, so check all those out. And, again, folks, uh, like and share uh, this post with your friends so they can plan your day. Uh, speak, speaking of planning your day, some other uh, sporting events are going on, and I'm going to toss it to Mr. John, who will tell you about the sports. Yeah, in uh, our Rockwood Sports, we have two basketball games to talk about. We've got, uh, on the 18th, we have Sunbright away. And then on the 21st, we have uh, Midway at home, and that's here at the local gymnasium. Uh, then we have an announcement about the uh, Rockwood football banquet. That's been postponed to January the 27th. And uh, I think tickets are still $10, but uh, if you get any information about that or if you want some, please call Eddie Grief at 865-599-3175. Yeah, awesome. Uh, check that out. Uh, we got some exciting new stuff we're working on, hopefully, with uh, Rockwood High School. And, again, if uh, you, you go to a, a school that's not Rockwood High School or one of our area small-town schools, hey, send us your information. We would definitely be glad to uh, – to get that information up there absolutely uh, uh and uh we're excited to do that 
So now I guess we're going to be heading into weather. Uh, weather, and once again, this week, weather is sponsored by Shape Up. Uh, it's a pretty good gym. It's over there in the uh, Tractor Supply Big Lot Shopping Center. Uh, I go there, try to get there a couple times a week, and uh, it's uh, good equipment, really clean, open 24-7, so you go on your schedule. Uh, one of the things you want to do is, is, is contact Ken and Mary. They can help you. Their contact info is up there. If you're an older person and you're on a Medicare supplement or a, a, a Medicare Advantage plan, it's possible you could be able to go there for free. Uh, your plan may cover your uh, membership. And so give them a call and ask them about that. And for all you people that are still working on your New Year's resolutions, that's a great place to go uh, try to fulfill that. A lot of people get in there for a couple of months and, and they don't stick with it, but Hey, this is a year you're going to. You're going to stick with it and, and stay in the gym and get in shape. Yeah, it sounds like a really, really cool place. Uh, and so for all you that uh, made your New Year's resolutions for that, uh, maybe check out that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, heading into weather. And, again, folks, uh, if you weren't around, uh, very excited. Uh, I've been excited all week about it. Uh, but uh, excited about our, our announcement that we are now teamed up uh, with WVLT. Uh, and uh, that is exciting. Uh, WVLT Channel 8. And uh, yeah. oh, forgot one special announcement there oh. uh, on the weather. Yeah. Roan County Schools closed tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We so just very learned. So, Roan County Schools is closed tomorrow. Again, folks, uh, uh, and I'll talk about it here in a minute, but uh, stay tuned to us uh, for those, those, uh, those updates. But that's why we are so excited that we are teamed up uh, with WVLT. Uh, and especially WVLT weather. I uh, have to, again, uh, thank all the folks, the management there at WVLT, and especially, especially Miss Heather Haley uh, for making that possible. So very thankful for that. Uh, why is that important? Well, it gives us the best up-to-the-minute information to pass along to you. Uh, here is your eight-day planner. So if you're going out to one of those events, uh, you can plan your day. Again, uh, here we are finally through the snow there on Monday. A little warmer, it looks like Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, obviously, is going to be your warmest day uh, of 48, but bringing in the showers and then heading into Thursday mix with spotty snow and flurries. And look there at Friday night heading into Saturday. Very cold, 19 degrees. Uh, then it goes on, stays pretty mild there uh, for your weekend, so at least not any major uh, weather situations to deal with there uh we'll also take a quick look at your live radar uh thanks again to wvlt and as you can see that snow uh, is way up there to the east uh that's what it was early this morning and you can see it just kind of passed along uh to the east so once again thank you to wvlt channel 8 and all of the team there they've got an awesome weather team and uh we're, we're very thankful to uh to have them on board. Uh, so again, if you're planning your events, uh, check that out again. Roan County Schools is canceled. Also, a WVLT have to mention, download their apps. Uh, not only just follow and share our page with your friends, but download their apps. They have a news app and a weather app. Uh, both are very awesome. You can set them up to update you when there's bad weather. If you got that app, you probably already knew that schools were closed. You probably did, yeah. If you uh, go to the WVLT News app, you can actually set it up uh, based on different school districts of uh, who's closed, and you can have it alert you to that. Uh, now that we've got the weather out of the way, we've got some other special in interest uh, that Mr. John is going to tell you about. Yes, and uh, special interest uh, are... I think sponsored again this week by the Rockwood Event Center. That's right down there, the Rockwood Event Center and Museum. And uh, they have, check out their webpage or their Facebook page. They're going to have a schedule of events. They have things often. I know John Snyder comes a couple times a year. Uh, he'll post those there, events you can go see. And they will also host your events for you. So give Bill Anderson a, a call, contact him on his Facebook page and uh, let him know that you're interested in hosting a wedding or a reception or uh, uh, some kind of reunion. Event, yeah. yeah. Yeah, anything. Uh, kind of interesting story I jumped in to, to, to help you on this one because uh, this first one is interesting. Check this out. Yeah. A uh, friend of ours uh, posted this for us and then sent us a link. Uh, Rockwood was on 
a website listed as the 10 coolest small towns in Tennessee you've probably never heard of. Yeah. And uh, I, give, I give vouch for the never heard of part. Yeah, um, there's some of them I had never heard of. No. Uh, but there, there's your list right there. We came in number nine. Number nine. Dandridge, Paris, Loudoun. And then here's the uh, top five. Now, where is Leaper's Fork? I yeah, know. I have no earthly idea. That's, uh, that's yeah. weird, yeah. But here's another exciting announcement John will tell you about. Uh, Burger King. Uh, you know, we've been needing a Burger King in Roan County for a long, long time. Yeah, we're it's... excited to have something new to eat, are <laughs> <Yeah>. we? <laughs> uh, we are excited. It's always been a family favorite, Burger King. You know, uh, Tom always called it King Burger. But uh, he, he loved the Burger King, and it looks like they're going to open up uh, tomorrow, Tuesday. I think it's the first day the, uh, the doors open, but they're going to have the grand opening with the ribbon cutting with the Chamber of Commerce on Friday, the 21st. So uh, get over and get you a flame grill burger and a Whopper, and uh, everybody will be happy. Now here's your uh, meteor shower. Our meteor shower, we're going to talk about that one again. Uh, it looks like the 19th, when it's supposed to peak, is going to be a cloudy night from... Thank you uh, to our, our, our weather. But uh, the, that doesn't mean that it's not there before and after. And it looks like Tuesday uh, might be then the best night to look. Yeah, there's uh, a look Tuesday's again. gonna be a little more clear. You're gonna wanna go out about three o'clock in the morning. I know it's early for a lot of folks and it's gonna be cold, but look to the north, find the Little Dipper and between the Little Dipper and the Dragon, you're gonna see, uh, that'll be the focal point of the, uh, the event. And uh, once you say, again, the, the moon's gonna be uh, over towards the east. You're looking north, uh, should be much in the way. And they're predicting five to 10, pretty good meteors an hour with a shower, so it's not a bad one. And you, you know where it's gonna be. So. Yeah, so with those things that we always announce the, uh, the, the day, but that's actually of the peak. That's the peak. Yeah, so it kind of kind of fades in and out. Yeah, so uh, even though the weather doesn't look good that night, maybe the night before, uh, check it out, or even the night. Yeah, because what the thing is, where a comet has come through the solar system when our Earth passes through the, where the tail was before, that's when you get the meteor shower. So it's broadly spread out. You're gonna see it nights in a row, but there's a peak and then it fades away again. Yeah, so very cool. Uh, uh, again, uh, awesome, awesome events, uh, things to do, the sporting events, uh, and we are very excited to bring those to you. Uh, so it's very important, folks, that you please like and share our page. And if you do have information, uh, uh, John is going to tell you how to, t how to tell us. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, please contact us on our Facebook Messenger, or you can go to, or excuse me, send us an email at uh, smalltownnetworklive at gmail.com. And, you know, that's probably the best way of sending us uh, weather event pictures, that sort of thing. You're also going to use this, uh, this email address later next month when we have our sponsor giveaway. So some of our sponsors have approached us and said, hey, you know, we would like to uh, maybe give some gift cards or that sort of thing. Yeah. So we're going to come up with the rules on that. It'll probably be something like win once a month. Yeah. And, uh uh, we'll come up with the details on that. We'll let you know probably in the next week or so and when those get started so you can just uh, participate through that email address. Yeah, and again, uh, can't, can't say enough thank you to all of the supporters. Uh, we've had so much uh, support and people coming out, uh, talking to us and, and saying they want to get involved. They want to do uh, lo one of our local focus programs. Uh, thank you again to WVLT and Heather Haley and that whole crew over there. Because uh, that, that really means so much to us to be able to bring you uh, pertinent information and uh, timely information. So, uh, again, if you would interested in sponsors, check out that, that, that contact information. Uh, and, again, uh, thank you for joining us, everybody. Uh, we appreciate it. Yeah, thank you again uh, here live uh, down here at the uh, Wilt Production Studios in downtown Rockwood. Uh, again, uh, my name is Scott. John Evans. And uh, we, again... Please like and share our page with all your friends. Share it to all your groups. And uh, have a great week, folks. Yep. Be safe.